good morning plant lovers and we're just in my little courgette patch here and uh, there's a couple of courgettes that are ready for picking so I thought we would um, actually get that done now so if I come in hopefully oh they're so prickly you can see I would say that that is more or less ready and then we've also got one which is a decent size there i'm happy to pick them at this size okay so oops first courgette harvest this uh is called limona lemona limona this is a yellow courgette or zucchini okay that's a good size i think that's how i buy them in the supermarket and let's go to the other one okay so here is my courgette harvest i am really pleased with it um there's plenty plenty more courgettes on the plant and this is going to be wonderful for today's dinner and then as well as that i just wanted to show you this sunflower just let the police car go past this uh, sunflower that I planted from seed it's already started to bloom I planted three I wish I did more but I didn't um, and if you look at the other two the uh, flower buds are already uh, forming on them so they'll be opening soon so I'm going to keep two of those for my garden and give one to my mum let's show you the sunflower I think it's got a little bit of aphids on it but it should be okay And to be honest with you, it is really enjoyable um, sowing plants from seed and seeing them come alive. So actually this year I'm doing quite a lot of edibles. I'm doing tomatoes, aubergines, cucumbers, sweet peppers and chilies as well. So I'm really enjoying, um, you know, being able to eat from the garden. And it's a little bit difficult for me because my space is quite small. So it can be difficult to mix both the edibles and the ornamental plants. But I mean, moving forward, that's something I definitely like to maintain, having a mix of the both and, um, you know, trying to create a more cottage garden uh, style, which is more informal and allows you to, to really mix the two. Anyway, that's enough of my musings. Let's leave it there. And as always, look after yourselves and take care until next time.